Okay, today we're gonna to be doing a comparison of the $8,000 cinema camera and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And you're gonna tell the difference, you're gonna see the difference, you're gonna tell which camera is which. <laughs> ah, let's do this. Okay, hold on there. Did you notice any differences of that video? Because I used two different cameras, a cinema camera and the 15 Pro Max. Could you tell which one was shot on which camera? It's hard to tell, honestly. By looking at the video, naked eye, it's, got, it's hard to catch. Okay, let's run it again and see if you guys can guess which camera I shot on. And I'll tell you which camera is which. How many of you got that right? If you did not get it right, which means your eyes are not that good. Just kidding. No, totally kidding. Don't take it too serious. If you didn't get it right, that's fine. It's hard to keep track. You know, that's okay. The thing is with iPhones, Apple has improved the iPhone lineup over the past years. With 15 Pros and 15 Pro Maxes, they have given some of the features that comes on a cinema camera. Not quite there, but they have still added some features. That's really cool, impressive. For example, like the ProRes log foot video features is on this. You don't have to worry about it. No need explanation. I'll, I'll try to be very simple with you guys when explaining. Uh, but yes, it's amazing. And the video I did before uh, was the coffee making video. If you did not watch that, go ahead and check it out. Completely shot on 15 Pro Max. It's cool, it's awesome. Talking about the coffee making video really quick. Um, it was a fantastic video, it turns out to be a great one and uh, fun to shoot. Completely shot on 15 Pro Max. I wanted to test how good the camera is and this video was shot inside a house of low light situation. So I wanted to check how good the camera performs and it pretty well, it held pretty well. I'm so impressed with that. And also big thank you for Gary hosting for that. Uh, I talked to him, I asked him, so he's like, okay, come over, man, let's do this. Garin, if you're watching this video, thank you so much. Garin is a content creator online, TikTok and Instagram, uh, talented guy. Once again, thank you so much. Yeah, so it was completely shot on handheld. I did not use any gimbals, but I used a slider and just handheld. It's a diff different experience for me to shoot that commercial type video. Yeah. Just before we jump into any conclusion, let me show you this. $8,000 cinema camera right here. iPhone 15 Pro Max, white titanium, $1,800 Canadian. Obviously, there's gonna be differences when you put side-by-side -side comparisons, for sure. But, it's just how crazy Apple has given some of the features that comes on a cinema camera to a 15 Pros and Pro Maxes. Uh, but 15 Pro Max and Pro Series has got that ProRes log footage, video recording features, that's insane. You know, when you think about these phones, it just uh, sounds crazy. Uh, how much capacity that Apple can bring, bring into these phones, it's just uh, insane uh, technology. But anyways, I feel like in future they will try to match a cinema camera out of these phones. That's, that's a different topic. Let's not focus on that. Today's video is going to be very important. I'm going to give my uh, all my techniques and settings and tips uh, that you can apply uh, if you have a 15 Pro Max or any Pro Pro Max series, 13, 14, 12, doesn't matter, or even a standard phone. I'm going to reveal all my stuff, so which helps you to improve your
photography and filmmaking. And I'm not talking just to photographers or filmmakers. I'm talking to everybody who just use this phone as a lifestyle usage. I believe you paid for this phone and you should know at least some of the features, just fundamental features to improve your uh, taking good pictures and, and video. So my goal is to bring your good pictures and videos to a better version of it. Okay, without any further ado, I want to show you all my secrets for success. 15 Pro Pro Max. Okay, let's let's start this. Camera, recording, very top record video. Um, 4K 30 is my go-to frame rates. Uh, depending on the situations, I go with 60. You don't have to know about FPS. That's just some technical. Don't worry about it. Uh, if you do 60, uh, that means you can slow your video. Like you can do B-roll on post-production. That's something different. You don't have to worry about it. If you're not a filmmaker, uh, I always go with uh, 4K 30 FPS. And scroll down, enhance stabilization. I turn that on and lock white balance i turn that on so i don't mess up with my uh, exposures white balances second uh, record slow motion i don't really care about that uh down to three record cinematic uh, i always keep that on 4k 30 fps and uh, formats high efficiency i always record in high efficiency because you can you get better quality but your file sizes are way smaller so that's good always high efficiency photo mode i keep that on 24 i think that's the default setting uh and then the biggest uh differences on these phones are the pro uh, pro row and pro re resolution control can't even say that right yeah but anyways you get what i mean so pro row and re well come on man Pro row and resolution control, turn that on and pro default. I go to 48 megapixel camera always. That's the highest resolution that you're gonna shoot on. So leave that on there. Uh, and then my favorite part is Apple ProRes. Turn that on, go down ProRes encoding. I put that into log. This is the Apple iPhone highest video quality recording format. This is the feature that comes on a cinema camera, a log video footage. So uh, if you're not a filmmaker, you don't necessarily have to do this because this will give you gigantic video file sizes. So which means you cannot process these video files in on the phone. You have to put it into a computer and on post-production, you color grade all that. When you turn on this uh, and then you go back to your camera, you're going to see your videos are washed out. Uh, don't get confused that's normal that's how it is supposed to be the lock footage always is washed out and flat video which gives you a lot of information which capture a lot of information the depth of feel in detail things that's why it's washed out color grading you have to do that on your post so if you're not a videographer filmmaker you don't necessarily have to shoot on this i did my videos on this because i wanted to check it out and because i love filming okay so so my honest opinion about this video today if you're thinking of spending five thousand dollars on a camera body and another two thousand dollars on a lens i would rather go spend that money on a 15 pro max because it's a good phone it's a good camera and you can try it out and see how things works to develop your skills things like that and maybe you can upgrade to another camera after i started with the iphone 7 plus that's a very basic camera if I did it you can do it too and not necessarily photographers or filmmakers if you're using this phone for a lifestyle usage or traveling any family moments things like that to capture you can use all these settings I've revealed my settings my features to use in this phone so you can use them to make a better product you know I think it's worth the try getting to this phone uh, worth of buying this phone that's all I have from today's video Hopefully, I'll see you uh, on my next video. Yeah, just a random video today. 
Hope you guys enjoy that.